We're here at the annual meeting of the American Society of Breast Surgeons learning terrific things about advances. I want to hear more about what are the advances in risk management. Kevin, what are the latest advances in risk management, risk assessment for women who have breast cancer and those who don't? So when we look at women now in terms of their breast cancer risk, especially those who don't have breast cancer initially, we want to know what's their risk level, how do we deal with that risk level, how do we make it better? So what we do is a risk assessment, look at their risk of breast cancer based on their risk factors, family history, hormonal use, hormonal factors like age of menarche, uh, some pathologic factors we, we might find at a breast biopsy. We bring together these factors and come up with a risk level for each individual patient. We then plan management or screening based on that risk level. Some women need an MRI, some women need a uh, ultrasound of the breast, some women need to take drugs to decrease their risk, some women need genetic, genetic testing. So what we do is we try to find the risk level for the individual and then develop a, a management strategy for that individual. So it's a personalized plan that basically you're developing. Absolutely. And the older approach of all women are at the same level of risk and we all get a mammogram once a year is not the way to do it anymore. Now what about the woman, Kevin, who doesn't have breast cancer but is sitting at home looking at all the breaking news about breast cancer and is worried? What does she do? Most of the breaking news is not worth worrying about too much. You'll see news about anti antiperspirants causing breast cancer, bras causing breast cancer, just about everything you can think of. In general, we have a, few, a small number of breast risk factors we think about, like I said, hormonal, family history, pathologic factors. Those are the major risk factors. These other ones, such as drinking more than two glasses of wine a night, are almost trivial and not to be really worried about. And people are bombarded with them and it is scary. And so that's the important information about risk assessment in women who have breast cancer and those who don't. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Harness, and I want to share with you important information that I believe that every newly diagnosed patient with breast cancer needs to know. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want every woman to know about personalized breast cancer treatment and the genomic test. A test that helps guide a woman and her doctor to the best treatment options for her. Pass it on.